Greetings and welcome to Smartwatch Ticks. We have an unboxing for you today, and before I even open it, I want to tell you that I'm tickled pink. I am tickled pink. You heard that term? 1922. I just Googled it. That's when you get tickled so hard your face turns pink. And that's all I can say happened to me when I started looking into the IQI i8 brand new smartwatch phone that you're about to see. It comes to us from GearBest. Check it out in the show notes for a buying link over here. And when you look at the spec sheets, well, you get a little disappointed when you see that the operating system they have in it is a 7.0. Those of you who followed the channel for a while, I'll just let you page through these as we talk, um, know that Android 6 and Android 7, well, they're not the best uh, at running on a, uh, on a watch mm, because they haven't really been, the bugs haven't all been worked out and they hadn't been optimized for the platform for a watch. However, Along came 7.1.1, and wow, you just saw the review we did on uh, the Limfo LEM8 using 7.1.1, right? And all of the magic that could happen in that watch. So I rather expected the IQI i8 to be not that much up to par. Little cover, you can see I stuck it back on because I've already played with this, obviously. That being a 7.0 watch, it just wasn't going to have all the oomph. Well, get ready to get tickled pink. Let's look at it first. We've got a SIM cover that's rather large, held in with two screws to help with the waterproofing, a charging uh, connector here, two buttons, a camera, the characteristic um, bezel screen display that you see on the IQI line, rather stiff uh, rubberized bands, and obviously antennas in the bands, non-removable, two little things for the clasps to go into, and that uh, trademark kind of a clasp that they use, which is this oval. That's the watch itself. Before we turn it on, we find that we also have a box, which is going to have our charging cable in it. What? Whoa, don't go so fast. It's a charging cable? Ha ha, we will come back to this because this is important. We also have a bag of screws for the SIM card and we have a little screwdriver as well. And we have our manual in here, Chinese and English. Let's look at the manual. Don't go away. Uh, let's see, here we go. English starts here. And as you see, it's got your basic information including the QR code to scan that we can tether this watch to your phone. And uh, yep, 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 it's the Y Watch, W-I-I Watch app. They always use either that or the Y Watch 2. Here's uh, more information on the watch, just, you know, the basic kind of stuff. Some screenshots. There's the fitness area they talk about now, you know, where you can do an outdoor run, an indoor run, those kind of things. And there's some screens from it and the heart rate monitor and other things that you'll find on the watch. Wow. And so forth. Okay. But what we want to do is show you that this uses a charging cable. Yes. Now, why is Mr. Tick so excited about the fact that this uses a standard charging cable? There. There we go. I mean, they all do, don't they? Well, we thought so until we looked at the Limfo LEM8. And if you remember the little rant I went on at the end of the video, because it uses a proprietary charging dock that's different than the docks on all the other Limfo watches. And what a wonderful watch that was, except that silly charging dock situation kind of made it ah, a pain really really prefer when you can have a wire especially a universal wire oops i'll let you see it booting up like this kind um, that you can get anywhere that works pretty much on any watch well we have it for this one now we get back to the tickle pink part so it'll tie in with this as it boots up we're going to find that this android 7 watch is not running android 7. no the specs 
are misleading. Any of you who are buying a watch like this are going to be thinking, okay, it's 7.0. It's not going to have the fancy features, but watch this. I turn it off. You see that? I've got the always on screen. The only watch we've seen that on was the Android 7.1.1 Lympho LEM8 with the proprietary charging dock. Folks, this is pretty much the same watch and you can charge it using a universal wire that you can get extra so you can have them in your car at work whatever really excited about that the tickle pink part means this new technology is going to be foundational in these watches it's going to be across all of them that are coming out with a 7.1.1 that uh ability to have the always on uh time on your on your arm is is a new feature. It's a whole new feature that we can expect in this class of watch. Everything else is exactly the same. You see the layout of all of the screens, including uh, the weather in your area, and it's showing in both centigrade and Fahrenheit. Yay! Finally, and that's going to be it appears to be standard of these kind uh, class of watches, as well as, of course, when you go down and to the left, you get your notifications. You have your watch faces down here, you're gonna have your step count information, your standard step stuff. We saw this on the other watches. I've went into much more detail, so I'm just gonna page through them. And here, you've got your contacts, phone, and messaging, and settings. You do not have now um, Bluetooth calling. That's a drawback. The only watches you're going to find Bluetooth calling on that are Android watches are running Android 5.1, all right? But the only watches you're going to find that always on screen that you just saw are running 7.1.1. In the settings, we can basically validate that by going down to the about and showing you. Hello, seems to be sluggish, but that might just be me not touching it well. Uh, whoops, went too far. Uh, here we go, 7.1.1, it's the I8, and while we're in here, you guys can see the kernel and build number information uh, for uh, potential firmware updates. You want to be running at least this level or higher on your watch. Okay, so beyond settings, you got your standard browser, downloads, calendar, and clock. The camera is a 2.0 camera on this one. We really were hoping for an upgrade. Um, but both the LEM8 and this one have the same 2.0 uh, camera on them. What else can I tell you? Uh, heart rate monitor and fitness. One of the things we're looking for uh, as an upgrade in fitness is on those activities that are linear, like running outdoors, uh, walking outdoors, biking, uh, those kind of things, cycling that they integrate with the GPS module so you can get your track. Like you see in the Amazfit Pace and Stratos and some of the other watches, but we don't have that yet. When you're in here and you hit go, it's basing all of its distance measurements on step count. Okay, you get your time and your, your calories burned and your pace and all of those things are happening based on step count, not on uh, actual GPS trajectory. However, word is it's in the making and it will be here eventually and maybe through a firmware update. And I got a feeling that when it comes out for one, it's gonna come out for all of them because they're all using the same fitness app and same implementation of Android 7.1.1. All the other stuff is the same, weather, voice search. By the way, you can install the Google Assistant on these watches now and use the more advanced functions of the Google Assistant beyond the OK trigger word uh, access. Then you got Assistant, which is the assistant for tethering, nothing to do with Google. Uh, this is where you can connect up to your uh, phone and do all these things from your phone. You got YouTube on this one, a built-in uh, separate app store for common things. Of course, you got to be on Wi-Fi to connect into it, like Facebook, Twitter, WhatsApp, and YouTube. Those are available to download without even getting on to the Google Play Store with your credentials. And then it's got the translator built into it as well. I did pop in a speed test app. That doesn't come with it. Uh, that's so that in, uh, in a little while, when I start to really test out the SIM capability of these 4G watches, 
in the USA on what kind of speeds we're getting, if we're getting any at all, uh, and, and do they support 4G in the USA, at least on AT&T. Okay, so those are the settings. Uh, that's a run through of the watch. The watch faces on this prototype now, prototype IQI i8, um, are pretty much just the basic ones that we've seen in uh, many of the watches and are usually downloadable from that little plus sign that you get at the very end. They don't have any unique IQI uh, watch faces that I've seen before. Uh, so there may be some in the works when the actual production unit is available. Here, as you see, when you get to the minus sign, these are the downloadable ones. And I've put a few of these in here. In particular, this one I liked because it's an analog uh, watch with a very bright contrast, easy to read outside. So if I'm in my ambient mode, there you see the time, but it's pretty dim. And if I'm outside and I want to glance at it and I'm familiar with seeing that, then I just tap that and I'll see a brighter version of something very similar. So you've got constant always on analog uh, display when you use something that is similar to what you had there. Here's something similar, but a little bit different with darker watch face uh, uh, hands. Uh, up to you, whatever you like to do with your watch faces. And of course, at the very end, this is where you can now customize your own picture and digital time. There's a process for that. And you can hit the plus sign. Again, when you're on the internet, you have access to a variety of other watch faces that you can download as simple as just hitting the download error. You can see it added up there. You can bail out of here. There you go. And there's that watch face we just downloaded. Okay. Wow. It's here, the IQI i8, the Tickle Me Pink, Tickle Me Silly watch, the watch that really does it all. It has Android 7.1.1 in it. It has the ambient mode uh, style of always on time capability that you can activate from the settings or not. You can still have it go black if you'd like to. So again, if you want a deeper look at all of the different apps that are in here, if you want to really go through everything that's in the uh, settings, take a look at the review we already did on the Lympho LEM8, and you'll be able to see all of these things, including that new switch called Always Time that we're talking about and so excited that it's going to be standard on these different watches. You've been watching Smart Watch Ticks. Uh, we appreciate your subscription and your participation. And <laughs> we have a watch now that uses a standard charging cable that you don't have to carry a dock with you that can do it all. All right. We'll see you again soon.